Hello guys, it's Ark from Vicar Media. Today I have another tutorial series for you guys. It's going to be about creating uh, Dreamweaver templates from Adobe Photoshop uh, layouts uh, and also using CSS styles. I'm really sorry for not releasing any new videos for the past week, but I've been busy. Uh, so, if you have watched my previous series, you will have noticed that now I have upgraded to CS4 for these two programs, Photoshop and Dreamweaver. So, I'm going to open up Photoshop. Here it is. And uh, this layout was created by Shata Youth 3 He requested this tutorial. And also DJ Takedown a requested part of this tutorial as well. So, um, I'm not going to be supplying you with this layout, but um, the the skills you learn in this tutorial you can apply it to any layout. Now I went here and got the slice tool, not the slice select tool, but the slice tool. What slices are, they're basically divisions in the um, in the Photoshop image that will be uh, turned into separate pictures for web use. What I'm doing right now is I'm just going like this and I created a separate slice for this button, for this button, for this button, and then this blank space. Now I'm going to make one for the body. Hey guys, it uh, started working again and just so I wouldn't bore you, I finished making the slices. Uh, I, well, not finished all of them, but I did these, so one for each button. And then a space filler and this footer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in with control plus. And I'm going to make a slice for this form. There we go. i move this here. I don't want to contain any of this um, curve design because I'm going to blank out this slice. You'll see in a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to make one for this. Just like that. I'm going to leave this in the main slice because uh, it's a design aspect. But the submit button, unfortunately, I will have to recreate in uh, Dreamweaver. So there we go. And uh, you'll notice that Photoshop automatically created filling uh, slices. But that's that's fine, so don't worry about them. Okay, now go to File and Save for Web and Devices. Can't just save it normally. Now, you'll notice the colors are paled out. That's because it's not selected. Don't worry about it. Let's see if I just select them all. It's all it's all good. So. Now, okay. Now here you have some quality um, settings. You can choose the image type for web pages. I suggest JPEG. Obviously, lower quality uh, it will load much faster, but it won't look as good. So, seventy-six is a good margin because it. It looks fine, but it loads much faster. So now I'm going to click Save. 
and you don't want to save just images or just HTML you want to save HTML and images so it'll create an HTML file and then a f images folder as well so click save nice now I'm going to go into Dreamweaver and this is where I saved it and this is it it automatically generated this for me you see the separate web slices so and this is really cool because now you can just click on this slice and link it so when someone just clicks on here you basically just made buttons that flow into your site which is really cool um, and you can do the same with this uh, now these will be replaced with forms so I'm going to just delete this and fill it with a white background I know it's white anyway but it's just better to code it to be white so like that and now I'm going to delete this one but you see that this box here was gray so I want to go here back to the Photoshop image use the eyedropper tool to find this exact color so then and then get the hex code copy it and now put the pound symbol and then the hex code and there you go and it flows nicely so I'm just going to preview that in my default browser Just have to upload all the files. Okay, guys, so this is what the site looks so far. I'll continue this tutorial in the next part of the series.